Jim, what drew you to Occupy Wall Street originally? Um, I the actually what originally kind of drew me to it was the um, the surprise huh, surprise isn't really what I want to say um, the disbelief of that American citizens could be treated the way that they were and kind of speaking their voice. Um, when I saw, you know, people who were exercising their First Amendment rights being pepper sprayed and uh, being, you know, beaten with billy clubs and you know, seemed to be unlawfully arrested, um, there was uh, just a kind of the element of disbelief that really I had to see it for myself. Um, and that experience of, of going to New York City to the Zuccotti Park um, and uh, seeing that self, you know, for myself firsthand and um, actually being part of a couple working groups while I was there. I spent uh, almost a week there. Um, I was there at the time when the protest was at the, across the Brooklyn Bridge and um, there were, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to, uh, the number I think was four or five hundred people that were arrested. Um, so my my whole reason for doing that was to kind of a first-hand experience and to really bring that back to Cleveland, to occupy Cleveland, um, and in the hopes that um, that experience would kind of be a springboard for uh, the Occupy movement here in Cleveland to kind of get off the ground in a in a you know prosperous way. Uh, so that was my my main reason for doing that. And what is um, what do you think is the most important thing about the Occupy movement? That it's an opportunity for uh, regular citizens to to have a voice uh, when it seems like today that uh, corporations are kind of stifling us at every turn. Um, yeah, I think that that's the most, at, at least at this point, that's the most important thing of uh, the Occupy movement. Okay, thank you. Yeah.